Good morning, friends. I tell you, I had a big argument with my husband this morning. It came out of nowhere. That is not typically the way we are. It used to be. I mean, you would not believe if I were to tell you how it used to be. Before he started walking with the Lord. So, inevitably, what happens is, I share something with y'all. And then, like that, something happens and I've got to eat my own words. It happens to me every time. To where <clears throat> I really need to be more careful about what I'm sharing. Because it's just like, as soon as I share something with y'all, the very next thing that's going to happen is going to be an opportunity for me to apply what I just shared. And what did I share last night? But talking about how it is so much easier to notice the wrong that everybody else does rather than what you have done wrong. So, I mean, I'm in the heat of the moment right now. Um, so, what do you do? What's loudest to me right now in my mind is the hurtful things my husband said or the way that he acted unloving the way he um, came down on me and all this kind of stuff that is what stands out in my mind the most I need the Lord's help so that I can realize and understand how I contributed to the argument, you know, and what I did wrong. That's the thing that I found out by the Lord showing me this over some amount of years is that it does not matter what happens, no matter how hard, how bad, whatever, that it is an opportunity to let the Lord do His work in us. Even if it's some big argument. And I know I, you can tell I've been crying. Look at my eyes. Um, so now I just have to humble myself and let the Lord do His work in me. You know. Um, really try to think about what my husband was saying. The point he was trying to get across, though it may not have come across in a good way or a nice way. Trying to see the validity of what he was saying. I have to like swim through all of the negative stuff, the offensive stuff, the hard stuff. I have to really dig and get through all the muck of it to get to the point. That's what I got to do. And if the Lord works as he usually does, my husband will go away from this, which he is. He's up there standing in line for a doctor's appointment. I'm sitting here in the car waiting. He has his cane. And if he goes to a place that he's familiar with, the, the environment, he does well. Um, so he's going in his appointment and I know the Lord will work on him, soften his heart and he'll come back and apologize at some point. Y'all used to, I'm telling you what, I really can empathize with anybody that's dealing with a spouse that is not walking with the Lord. I have been there and it was like going through hell and back. Because they don't walk away from an argument and have any remorse for the way they acted. You're not going to really get an apology. In fact, you might get ignored for days on end. You know, that's what happened to me. So I really do feel sorry for anybody that's going through that. And maybe it's not a spouse that you're dealing with, but a family member or somebody like that. That you have to go through these hard times with people. 
But really and truly, it is the truth. I found it. That the Lord allows these circumstances to change us, to grow us, to practice His Word of not being quickly offended at people. Practice His Word about not holding grudges. Practice His Word about, you know, love others, care about their interest more than you do your own. Yield to them and try to look over and feel sorry for their anger or their bitterness or how harsh they are, you know, stuff like that. These are opportunities for us to get to know the Lord more. Yeah, that's what I want to say. And so, see, I didn't plan on this happening this morning. It just happened out of nowhere. And, but it's how we deal with it. You know? Yeah, I messed up. I fired back. I didn't hold my tongue. Um, I even brought up something from the past in the heat of the moment. I, I messed up in it. But all I can do now is go to the Lord and talk to him about it. Bring it all out in the open. Lord, examine me. Please help me. Please forgive me in the way that I responded. Even though, y'all, if I weren't walking with the Lord, I would feel so justified for the way I acted. I would. I'd say, you know, I was only defending myself, taking up for myself. I, you know... I mean, so, um, just sharing that, y'all, this is kind of my journal, um, some things I share in case it might help anybody, just to know you're not alone in these trials and these hard times that come up, um, in wrestling with our flesh, you know, but if we can see them as opportunities, to get to know the Lord more, to be changed into His image. We got to go through things for that to happen. We do. Hard as they may be, we got to trust the Lord that He knows what He's doing in allowing these things to happen. So, thank y'all for listening. I need the Lord to help me to humble myself and really think about these things and listen for them and everything. I'll talk to you later.